Okay, this is going to give you a little better, better view of the way these things are bent. See how the P and the J are bent way up. We'll start looking at some of the others. They're almost flat. All these have to be... All these have to be bent at a certain angle. Or they just will not work. Isn't that just incredible? I wonder how long it took them to figure out how much to bend these things. And to make a machine to do that. And that means they had to have a machine for each individual one. Okay, the next thing that goes in, you see this little circular area right here. Well, this little part right here is what keeps those keys from jumping out. And so we need to drop this in to keep those keys from coming out. So that's the next thing we're going to do. Okay, this is that piece we're fixing to put in this area here to keep those keys from jumping out. So, let's see if I can get this in there with you watching. going to be a kind of a hoop to do to get it in there now we're almost there I bet this is supposed to go on the other side of that matter of fact I know it is Let's see if I can't easily get that because this this bolts in right there on this little diggly bopper that's our backspace thing this I forgot what this is well guess what this piece is gonna have to come loose again because I forgot I was supposed to slide this in that little slot right there Cause this is for the ribbon I should have taped it in there I don't know if I'm gonna be able to loosen this thing up enough to slide it in there or if I'm gonna have to take everything back off again I will let you know all right I got it loose let me see if I can't pull this thing out just enough to hopefully just to get this thing in there Yeah, it seems to be able to slide up and down all right. Okay, I think we got it. Time to move on to the next project. Okay, now I need to get this fork onto that little screw right there. I had a lot of trouble last time trying to get this thing on there. Because there's no way to... Uh, maybe. Oh, there it goes. Put a damn screw in there and hurry. I just hope I didn't forget something else. Okay, good deal. At least I got one in there. That's all that matters. Okay. Wow, we. Okay. See, trying to put that little yoke on that little bearing there and it's got two little old flat sides but you've got to hit it just right or it just won't go the next thing that goes on is this little cotton picker back here this is the tab adjustment thing and it's got two screws it's got this one and then it's got this one over here so Let's see if I can hold this thing, this magnetic screwdriver, while I get this thing run in. Oh, I think I got it. Uh oh.
yeah this must be the either a thrust washer or a thrust bearing because as this thing comes over here and stops it slams against that washer instead of against the carriage and wearing it out so what it'll do is it'll wear out that washer hot dog finally got it okay so I push my push my tab key well when I put this thing in I put it in backwards so I don't know I sure hope I can get this thing in there work it down in there I've been wondering what this hole here was for and now I know it's for people like me that forgot to put this thing on there to where now I can be able to push it on there and lock it in because there's a little slot on the other side okay see there it is right there so I was asked what this hole is for right here in front of this this keyboard is to reach in there to pull that thing and latch it on We're working on is that little rod right there that I'm twisting. It's got to come all the way through to the front. We're almost there. Well, that seems I've lost a spring from here to here. I was trying to put it back on after I put this other thing on and I dropped it down in there. Now I can't find it, so I'm going to have to make me one. Or Well, I ain't going to be able to make one. I'll have to. I got me a a whole bunch of little springs. I'll see if I can find one that'll work. Now what I did, I got the I got the shaft through there and then I got the black and red tab and I found out what this remember earlier I was wanting to know what this thing was for. Well this locks it so when you're in black key and you don't want to accidentally have have it jump into red key you just move that lever that's locked and what it does it locks this there's a pin right here on this thing and when you unlock it well now that pins free to move okay we're getting back up to the beginning of this thing we got all this doohickey whatever you want to call it stuff in here ready to go now we're ready for our I guess we're ready for our carriage now and now we put the other screw in over here uh oh there we go all has to do with the length Well, it seems I've lost a spring from here to here. I was trying to put it back on after I put this other thing on and I dropped it down in there. Now I can't find it, so I'm going to have to make me one or I'm going to cut the spring in half. I mean, doesn't necessarily need to be that long, but got it bent a little bit. Bend it around a little more. All right, I got it on the one. Hot dog. I don't know if you can see it or not, but by golly, we got it. We got this one on. You know, we thought this one was broke, but it must have come loose from this. So now we've got everything on there. The only thing I'm going to have to do is tear this thing back down to go in there and find me some oh. remember that piece right there the one where all the bearings fell out I'm gonna have to go back in there because 
it's so sloppy it's letting this carriage jump and so it's not gonna work right until I get that fixed I don't know why I have so much trouble with this thing but I do okay remember this has to come down hook into these things is it there it is there's one Pull this around. I can always get the right side in, but I can never get the left side in. There it is. Got it. Okay. Something's not letting something work. I goofed somewhere. All right, we'll be back. 